A counterflow heat exchanger is used to remove heat from steam condensate prior to discharge and for preheating cold water. Cold water enters at 50 degrees and leaves at 70 degrees. Condensate enters at 160 degrees and leaves at 100. What is the log mean temperature difference? So we've done a few examples that had us calculate the log mean temperature difference already, but one of those was parallel flow and the other one was a situation where one of the two streams wasn't even changing temperature. So uh, it didn't really matter too much what the direction was. So this is our first encounter with counterflow. And what that looks like, let's draw each of the two streams here. We have the cold water entering at 50 and leaving at 70. So maybe that looks something like this. And that's going from left to right. And now we have the condensate entering at 160 and leaving at 100. So if this was parallel flow, we would draw it something like this, where it's moving from left to right. But now that we know it's counterflow, it's going to be the opposite direction. So instead, we draw it a bit differently. We draw it like this, which looks like the same thing. And it would be if it was going to the right, but it's going to the left. So it's going in the opposite direction, where this is 160 and this is 100. And what that does is it keeps the delta t along the length of the heat exchanger closer to the average delta t. So even though the delta t is changing, right, it's 50 over here and it's uh, 90 over here, it's closer to the average the entire time. Whereas for a parallel flow heat exchanger, it's extremely large right at the point when it enters and it's at its smallest and potentially gets quite small right at the very end. So it's just a different design. And uh, the implication of that, or really the implication for analyzing the performance of any heat transfer device, any heat exchanger, is to find the log mean temperature difference. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So in exactly the same manner as we did before, once we have this picture, the rest of the process unfolds very easily. And that's why I recommend A, drawing a picture, and B, using this method of uh, calculating the LMTD, which doesn't rely too much on the individual temperatures, and rather starts graphically, where you define the left side as A, and the right side as B, and then we get delta TA and delta TB, and use those in our calculation. So delta TA is going to be 100 minus 50, so 50 degrees. Delta TB is going to be 160 minus 70 which is 90 degrees. And the good thing about this is whether you define A as 90 and B as 50 or vice versa, you'll still get the correct answer. It turns out to be the same. So delta T log mean equals delta T A minus delta T B over the natural log of delta T A over delta T B, which is 50 minus 90 divided by the natural log of 50 over 90. And one of the things that you might notice here is that the numerator is going to be a negative number. But when you take the natural log of a fraction that's less than 1, that also turns out to be a negative number. So the negative cancels, and you get a log mean temperature difference of 68 degrees. Best answer choice is B. And if you're not confident in the negative number, I would invite you to try it the other way. Had you defined this side as A and this side as B, you'd do 90 minus 50, which would be positive, but then you would do natural log of 90 over 50, which would also be positive. And I would invite you to try that and prove to yourself that the log mean temperature difference actually does come out to be not only positive, but exactly the same, still 68 degrees. Would you like to have more solution videos like this one so you can pass the PE exam? Click the link in the description below to take your next step toward becoming a licensed professional engineer.